And now to conclude our chat with Dr. Michael Alexander, this time we focus on his involvement in music. Do you still play the guitar? Very rarely, unfortunately, <laughs> you know about that part. <laughs> I keep it all ready chewed mm. and hooked up, but um, I can't get my cohort to help me anymore. <laughs> I taught my wife, Medina how to play the bass. Mm -hmm. And we actually performed at some places wow. and so on. Mm -hmm. But she says she's too busy. And it's very difficult just to sit down and play mm -hmm. after reaching the, I can only call it peaks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I know what yes. you're going to lead to. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, we formed the tones mm -hmm. back then. And mm -hmm. you know what Boo has gone on to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, as I said, a lot of what he did, Boo was a prodigy. Mm -hmm. So just being around him, yeah. you get ideas and all the rest and so on. Mm -hmm. And that's it. When I left, um, Canada re left St. Lucia. I went over to Nigeria and I only lasted one year before I had to form a group there. Mm -hmm. too. <laughs> yeah. So I found three West Indians mm. and one Nigerian guy who played the bass and mm. the others. One was a singer, girl was a singer. Mm -hmm. One had no, couldn't play any musical instrument. The other one was a drummer. Mm -hmm. So I taught one guy to play the guitar. Wow. And within six months, we were out playing mm -hmm. at clubs. <laughs> and so and we ended up in having our own, it turned out to be virtually our own show. It was a TV show for half an hour. Mm. Nigeria at the time, you want to say a little backward in television? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nigeria at the time had only two television stations. One could only be picked up in the capital if you had a very tall tower and mm -hmm. very poor reception and so. Mm -hmm. But the other one was Nigeria Television Service. Okay. And because people had to pay quite a bit, to, and there was no color TV mm -hmm. then, yeah. they would switch on their TVs from half past five mm -hmm. because they started broadcasting at six. Mm -hmm. So you just have the <laughs> test pattern on the TV. Right. <laughs> so every Saturday, six to 6.30, there was a program called Saturday Square. Mm -hmm. And um, it copied um, American Bandstand. Mm -hmm. So they'd have a live band playing live. Uh, to a music where mm -hmm. American Bandstand was all records. Right. So um, I followed that for some of the years. I said, and then after I formed my group, we mm -hmm. practiced and practiced and practiced. And the manager of the group, who was the mother of the three West Indians I spoke about, mm -hmm. um, went and contacted the TV station mm -hmm. and said, I have a group here and I'm sure you like <laughs> your music and whatnot. And so we played once and they made us a resident group. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Every Saturday, 6 to 6.30, we're the only, and we had an advantage. Our singer, mm -hmm. beautiful girl, was a flight attendant. Oh started with BOAC, then mm -hmm. Nigeria Airways. Mm -hmm. So she was in London, England, at least twice a week. Mm -hmm. And that was the era of the Beatles, the Rolling Stones right. and so. Mm -hmm. So she'd come back with the music sheets and the 45s mm -hmm. and so. We'd practice and that evening, because she'd get back on a Friday, mm -hmm. practice on Saturday and that evening at six o'clock, go to the TV station and play for half an hour. Then there was a special club we played at. Mm -hmm. and that so you keep him busy. Right. But you didn't write any music yourself? No. Oh. Well, wrote a couple, but we mm -hmm. only recorded them on tape. We never published them because okay. Nigeria, they couldn't take a chance on anybody. Mm -hmm. So you'd have to pay for all your recordings and everything. And then they'd let you buy the records and you'd be up to sell. I said, no, I'm not, I'm not a mm -hmm. professional, not in that. But we played at some really top shows and so on. Rated as the best pop group in Nigeria. Wow. <laughs> Quite a bit of achievement. Doctor, it's certainly good speaking with you. We, we're happy you took us uh, on that trip, um, certainly to Africa, and to, to learn a little bit more about Sedani as well, because we've heard about him, and we're always good to be in contact with somebody who knows him personally as well. And congratulations Thank you. on 30,000. That's quite a huge achievement. In fact, I, this is, um, you probably, somebody sent you that as yes. an email last night. That was the actual plaque that they gave to me. Mm -hmm. And we'll take a picture of it as well and feature on the screen as well. Oh but we want to certainly thank you for giving us the time because we know you're here for a short time and you're leaving uh, very shortly. And I also want to, to see how proud we are of what you've done and also the fact that you've kept the tradition. <laughs> well, if I, if I mentioned, sorry to interrupt there, mm -hmm. but one thing, because when you're on the stage in front of a few hundred or thousand people, mm -hmm. you've got the audience to yourself. Yes. You're looking at <laughs> you under the spotlight. Yes. So, I mean, proudest thing I have is coming from St. Lucia, mm -hmm. our Nobel laureates and so, yes. and I find a way to slip that in mm -hmm. when I'm talking abroad and so on, because they're looking, who's this guy up there, you know, because I'm representing yes. the show that's outside. Mm -hmm. I take every opportunity to mention, not only that I'm from St. Lucia and we have two Nobel laureates, mm -hmm. but I went to St. Mary's College that produced the two Nobel yes. laureates. <laughs> and your father's been <laughs> as well. my father as well, you see. <laughs> yes. So, so it's a very proud to be a St. Yeah, we're very happy to speak with you as well. We're very proud to have you uh, representing yeah, us you. as well. Mm -hmm. I'd like to wish you all the best um, in the future, and I'm hoping that we'll get to see you on a, another vacation here pretty soon as well. Thank you. So I may thank you very much indeed. It's been a pleasure. That is our show for tonight. Join us again next week for Calabash Community. I am Bernard Fannis.